This is George F551 with a product review of the new 3M M Pro 120 Pocket Projector. It is a the next projector from the M Pro 110, which I have over there. And some of the features this has that the M Pro 110 does not, it has audio. There's speaker ports on the side right there. It has the ability to be brighter than average. You get this boost button here. And this has this battery shows you how much time is left on it. We'll get to that volume up, volume down. It comes with its own tripod. I forgot to show you that in the unboxing video. Its own pouch. It has three of these barrel adapters. I'm borrowing one for the 110. Your power supply with your various European and American plugs. VGA cable. And attached is the composite, which runs from here to the back of my Arcos. Now again, because I don't have a splitter and I found out they cost a ridiculous amount of money, we're putting the 110 on the Lyra and the 3M 120 is on the Arcos. Now one of the things I've noticed when I uh, started playing with this is the intensity of the image which we will now kill the lights and bring here. Now the image on the left is the M Pro 120 and the one on the right is from the 110. One thing I definitely notice is that the image on the old 110, both of these are at 10 lumens, is actually a little bit brighter. But then again, there's reasons for that. For example, the light is constantly on in the 110. It's white. And it has a red, green, blue dot pattern versus the DLP that is on the 120 and has a flickering red, green, blue light which I cannot show you, but if you took your hand in front of the image and waved it like this, actually, I think you can see it showing up in my viewfinder. Versus this, it's a solid light. However, the black and white images appear more natural on the 120 than it does on the 110. 110 being LCOS, and LCDs tend to have a purplish hue, as well as the fact that the LED is a little on the purplish side. Next up is color. That's a bad example. As you can see, the colors are actually brighter on the 120 in spite of being a slightly dimmer projector. Reason being is that as the lights flicker through the colors, the entire array of pixels are being lit versus over here where for example the red and the blue and the green only that specific color is lit and the other two dots are not so you get one third brightness but you got one third the brightness whenever one full color is up versus full scale here granted that each red green and blue LED is only flickering one third of the time but like I said, it takes up the full area that it's displaying on. So we got good color. There we go. Again, you can see that the 120 act, I mean 110 produces a slightly brighter white. But the 120 on the left it's producing brighter blacks because, as I said before, all the dots are constantly lit at some way and point. And because it's a fuller image, you get a 
Alrighty, you get fuller, more bold color. Now, as I've done before, now the test pattern's a little screwed up on that one because the Lyra has an issue with color saturation. But outside of the uh, red bar over there, all the other colors are correct. But look at how much bolder that they are in the 120. They pop out. And not only that, they seem to be a little more crisp as well. The edges are more defined. And like I said, the one thing I will not count against the 110 because the Lyra has a problem trying to produce the red bar there. Alrighty, that's the comparison. But as I said, this one plays sound. Now I noticed with the video is that the color's a little bit on the uh, high end. They, they could have calibrated the could have calibrated it to be a little more dull, so it's a little more natural looking. On the other hand, as you can hear, it's got speakers, as I've mentioned. The volume isn't very high on it. And if you do have an audio device that tries to go really high on the volume, it'll the uh, components inside will start vibrating. You get a squelch like sound up to it and now I'm going to point to you you get your volume buttons here as I press down you can go down push up obviously the volume goes up that's as high as it goes for this picture of the Sun is the brightness right now it's on regular brightness. If I hit, I don't know if you can see it. It gives an extra two lumens boost. Bring it up to 12 lumens. There it is at 10 and 12. It might not seem much, but when you're in a slightly brighter room, you'll be thankful that you have that. And you get this battery, which shows you how much life the battery has left in it. And it says three hours. That is definitely a plus. I always like to know how much battery life it has. There's no mystery of when it's going to die on you. And there you are, your brightness. Now I'm going to hit the brightness boost. And that's 12 lumens on the left, 10 on the right. 10 and 10. And one thing to definitely point out as this video is coming to a conclusion, because we're already past 10 minutes is right here you do not want to cover this this is your exhaust you cover this you might you might blow your uh, projector to smithereens and right here I can't seem to get it is it's a flip stand I don't know if I can get it up or not yeah there's a little stand that flips out so it stands like so it stands like that I consider this a pretty good product just remember to keep your hands and objects away from this so if you're laying it flat you you overhang it like I'm doing here I say this is a very worthy product I hope you liked the review because I have to stop the video